Smartphone cameras continue to get better year after year, which makes it easier than ever to use them to take professional photos. From marketing shots, to business headshots, to photos for your website and social media. But even if you're shooting with a smartphone, you still need to get sharp, clear photos that people will love to look at and will represent your brand in a professional way. I've been using a smartphone as my primary camera since 2009, when the iPhone got good enough to replace my Canon Elf. And while today I sometimes use DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, and even experiment with drone cameras, I still use my phone to take more photos than anything else. And you can see that if you look at my Instagram account because I always try to hashtag the name of the device I use to take the shot. Today, I'm gonna to share the secrets to making your smartphone photos a lot more professional. So let's go take some pictures and talk about four tips to get you started. Number one, paint with light. Always remember that photography is fundamentally just a way of capturing the way light falls on a subject. A great subject in poor light will always look bad. Smartphones do their best in soft natural light and struggle in low light. And using the built-in flash on a smartphone almost always creates bad images. Avoid it. If you're outside, the best light is during what photographers call golden hour an hour after sunrise, and an hour before sunset. If you have to take photos outside during the harsh light in the middle of the day, look for open shade. Always pay close attention to where light and shadows are, because they will be accentuated in the photo. The biggest things you can control when you take a picture are the light you shoot in and the angle you shoot from. Once you understand that, even a smartphone can be used to do what the great photographers do, paint with light. Number two, find the unique angle. This is where you can make your shot look different than all of the other photos that may have been taken of the same thing and in a similar spot. It's what photographers call composition, and it's about using all of the elements in your shot to tell a story. To help you do this, go into the settings of your camera app and turn on grid lines. This is called the rule of thirds, but all you need to know for now is that our eyes naturally fall on the places where these grid lines are. So before you take your shot, look to position the camera so that the elements in the frame are sitting along these lines. Next, in order to get a unique angle, look to position yourself down low or up high when taking your shot, rather than just standing with the camera straight in front of you like everyone else. Finally, pay close attention to what's in the foreground or background of your shot to add more visual interest and to avoid ruining a good shot with something distracting that you don't want in your picture. Number three, get smart tools to help. While smartphone cameras themselves have gotten much better, there are also some tools you can use to help you take much stronger photos. The first is something you already have, your headphones. On most modern smartphones, you can use the volume up or down button to snap a photo instead of tapping the screen. You can also plug in your headphones and use the volume buttons on the headphones to snap a photo. Photographers call this a remote shutter release and you can use it to get a steadier shot. It's especially helpful when you pair it with a tripod and that's something you can now do with a smartphone tripod mount like the ones from Mi Photo. You may also be tempted to try some of those external lenses you can mount on your phone. Don't do it. I've tried a lot of them, and in most cases, they're more trouble than they're worth, and they can make your photos blurry and less professional. Instead, just focus on composing good shots with the camera in your phone. Number four, edit like an artist. One of the things that most people who take smartphone photos don't realize is that the difference between a good photo and a great one is often the processing that happens after the shot. The world got an inkling of this with Instagram, which skyrocketed to popularity by using filters to quickly make decent photos look a lot more interesting. But if you want to use smartphone photos for professional shots, you need more control. You need to use an editing app. There are a ton of them out there, but the best one to start with is Snapseed because Google bought it and made it available for free, and it's always adding new features. 
Use Snapseed to crop, bring out the full color, bring up the shadows or dark spots, add the natural warmth back to a scene, sharpen the image, and more. If you use the four tips we talked about today, you'll be well on your way to taking much more professional smartphone photos. If you'd like to see examples of some of the smartphone photos I've taken, like this photo in Florence, Italy, you can find me on Instagram at jason.heiner. And for more great tips, subscribe to Tech Republic's mobile enterprise newsletter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.